all of you. Uh, today we'll be talking about MAT system. So MAT, the abbreviation says like myofacial assessment and treatment tool. It's a system. System means it's a collaboration of multiple factors which are very important to treat a patient. So it is divided into basically two parts. One is myofacial assessment and second thing is the treatment tools. So when we are talking about myofacial assessment, so what we have in assessment is first of all is the basic observation that we need to observe a joint, we need to observe a person like what is the placement of the joint and everything. Second is the palpation. Palpation includes like the depth of palpation, the perception of the tissues and the what a, what, what, what a normal tissue looks like, feel like and what an abnormal tissue feels like and look like. So these are the two components, basic component of assessment. The third component of the assessment which is very important is the movement analysis of the joint itself. We are not talking about the human body as a unit right now, we are just talking about the movement analysis of a joint. So first we try to check the movement analysis of a joint to find out the answers that which joint, which, which area is moving more, which part is not moving at all. So there will be some compensatory effect of the joint which are moving more. Like if we talk about cervical, if cervical basically what we have seen that due to abnormal posture there is more movement at the upper cervical, the tratlan occipital joint which is a problem actually for the patient. The fourth thing which comes under assessment is after the movement analysis is the total complete pattern of human movement that is like more or less like a gait analysis that how the person is moving and how each and every movement arm and the joint is moving in response to each other and what are the compensatory factors. So basically the diagnosis what we have done like the diagnosis we will be doing with MAT assessment is more uh, developed from motor theory or say motor control theory. So we have given it a name as a synergist compensatory system or the theory which says that, that the more the person, when the when the prime act, uh, movers goes weak then the synergist has to do overwork and they become overloaded and they goes into spasm there will be different kind of pathobiomechanics uh, pathomechanics happening at the joint. So to correct this joint, we need a correct assessment protocol. So once we are done with the assessment protocols, we have different tools what we are using in MAP system. Like the first tool what we use is basic MFR that is myofascial release using our hands, the most skilled part of the therapist body. The second thing, the tools what we are using, it's a boon in the market right now. It's ISTM instrument, it's just a soft tissue mobilization. So we have different kind of ISTM tools. And we are using these tools as a stethoscope because it, they are made up of steel and different uh, fab, uh, the different materials. So they basically enhance your per perception of tissue. Right? They they help in diagnosis as well in treatment of myofascial additions, the addition between two muscle groups. So. And the third thing what we are doing is myofascial decompression works on negative decompression that we are applying cup we are creating a negative pressure inside a cup which basically lift the fascia and the skin and it creates ample of space beneath and we just release it by dynamic or the static cupping or static cupping with movements so that we can gain range of motions. So we have applied mat on different patients like the chronic pains what we are seeing uh, in cases and with, what, which what we, what we thought is uh, non-treatable actually we are able to diagnose and assess and treat those patients very beautifully. The next thing like as we know that most of the pains what the patient right now is suffering is non-specific that means the origin will be of myofascial kind. So whenever we are seeing these patients very difficult for us to assess, diagnose and make a good treatment plan and what we are doing is a continuous same treatment for every problem so here what we are doing we are trying to diagnose a person structurally because as a movement scientist as a physiotherapist we are working on the structure so we are going to assess and treat the structures not the conditions right so this is a brief about MAT system we are organizing different workshops in different cities right now uh, we are organizing it in 